In this video, we took an Elementor page, this one right here, and we went from 47 on mobile to 90 on mobile. And on desktop, we're at 94, we dropped to 91, even though the stats are mostly the same on both sides. But the real big win is on mobile. If you're interested in seeing how I did this, it's all in this video, and I used a free account with the software that we're gonna use. There are paid accounts as well, but the free account worked just fine. It's limited by how many page views you can do per month. But I'm gonna show you all the steps in this video to achieve these results, and hopefully you get similar results on your website. It's our demo site. This specific page is an Elementor page. It's got a bunch of fancy effects, and it's pretty slow because it's Elementor. On mobile, it gets a 47 out of 100. I just wanna show you the, the, the URL here. It's the same as this one and scanned just a few minutes ago. 10.7 seconds, the largest content full paint. A lot of stuff going wrong that we're gonna fix in this video and hopefully bump this up into the green. For desktop, we're at 94, solid. Don't wanna change that very much. There's still a lot of stuff in the red and orange that will probably be fixed in the course of this video but we're not too worried about desktop. We're really focused on the mobile performance. What we're gonna use in this video is Nitro Pack. It's one of my all time favorite speed up plugins because it's just so simple to use. And currently there's a Black Friday sale up to 37% off. So you might wanna check it out and there's a free plan. In this video, I'm gonna show you the free plan. It's only good for 5,000 visits a month. If you need to upgrade, you need to upgrade and upgrading now is cheaper than it will be the rest of the year. To install Nitro Pack, all we have to do is go into the WordPress dashboard. Go to plugins and add new plugin. Search for Nitro Pack. This is the one we want right here. 100,000 plus active installs, four to five stars, untested with the current version of WordPress. I like that to say it's been tested with the current version. But even no matter what the stats are down here, you should always back up your site before installing new plugins, especially if it's a production site. If you need help with that, there's a link in the tutorial above to help you do that. Click on install now when you're ready, then click on activate. Nitro Pack has been successfully activated, but it's not yet connected. So let's click on this link right here to connect it to our Nitro Pack account. If you don't have an account yet, you can make one. Click on connect. We enter the website URL. It's already entered because it's on the site. It knows what it is. It pulls in the site name. You can change that if you want to. Site platform has other. I don't know why it didn't detect WordPress, but it didn't. You can choose the free one right here. Zero dollars for 5,000 views. And there's a badge at the bottom, but it's free. So click on add, and then now added it to my account because I'm logged in, and it's free, so it's not that big of a deal, especially if you're just trying it out to see if it improves the speed on your site. Okay, we're all set. Setup is complete, ready to rock and roll. Some existing posts and taxonomy is not optimized, which may slow down your site. Do we wanna optimize these? Turn the toggle on. I'm gonna to say yes, optimize those. And now, Nitro Pack in the background is gonna start optimizing our pages and saving them as cache pages to be shown to our visitors so it's a whole lot faster. These optimization modes have different levels of optimization. Ludicrous is the maximum. This is like the ludicrous setting in the Tesla cars. And most often this is the setting that will break a site. The lower you go from there to strong, medium, and standard, the less likely is something is gonna go wrong. If you wanna compare what these modes do, click on this link and it shows you what those modes do. I usually start on Ludicrous and I make sure that this page is cached and then I check it to see if something went wrong. But how do we know if this page is cached? We go into our Nitro Pack dashboard. Let's sign in here. Make sure we're on the correct website, which we are. Here it shows some stats. We have two pages currently optimized. It's likely the homepage, mobile and desktop version. If we click on Cache Insights, and then click on page optimization status. It'll show you which pages have been optimized. So the home page. This is not the page we're speed testing. If it was, we can now throw this into Google PageSpeed Insights and hopefully see some improvements, but we're gonna have to wait until this page is optimized. And I don't believe there's a way to tell it to optimize specific pages. Not in the beginning anyway. If you do make changes to a page, you can go into edit page on any page that you want to. And then if you scroll down, we have a Nitro Pack tab on the bottom right, and there's two options, invalidate cache and purge cache. Invalidate means you mark the cache page for this page as stale, meaning the next time the cache is purged, which is purged on the schedule, it will then purge this page's cache and create a new one, or you click purge cache, which, which purges the cache right away. In other words, deletes the cache page. So people start seeing new content immediately, and a new cached version will be created a few minutes later. Since this page isn't even cached yet, 
there's no point in clicking any of those. Ledger Pack caches pages, I believe, based on when people visit them. So if your site gets lost of traffic, all your pages will be visited. And after the first new visit, the page will be cached. If you want to preemptively do that, you can visit pages yourself. And then those pages will be cached before real visitors come. If you have a huge website, that's probably not feasible. But if you have a smaller one, that can definitely be done. So while it's working on that, let's have a little look around the Nitro Pack dashboard. We have cache settings on the left with the options of general, images and media, JavaScript, HTML and CSS, fonts and cache. If you have one of these settings here chosen, like we do in the case of this video, you don't have to worry too much about these things. It's all done for you. But what will happen is when we run our PageSpeed Insights again, when we scroll down, we're going to see a list of all the things that we're doing not so well at the top and things that are going OK down below. And if after setting ludicrous mode, there's still some things that are not doing well over here, like, for example, reduce unused JavaScript, we would then go to the JavaScript tab to see if we can adjust that and, and make some changes. Because for ludicrous mode, we only have remove render blocking resources and delayed scripts turned on. And that's likely because that will be in conflict with also combining JavaScript. But you can turn these on and off as you please and test different things. And I know that sounds scary, but it's really not that bad. The worst thing that'll happen is your site will go down, which I guess is pretty bad. But to fix that, it's pretty easy. Just turn off the setting you just turned on, come back out here and purge the cache of that specific page. Or if you go to Cache Insights, you can purge the entire cache by clicking this button. And that will delete the whole cache. Then your site will be loaded without speed optimization until the new cache pages are created, which doesn't take that long. Something else you can do is visit the pages on your site. If your site is low traffic, then it will take longer for your cache to develop. And this cache page popped in here because I visited this page incognito on desktop. I should visit on my mobile phone and then it'll probably cache the mobile version as well. So you want to, if the cache is taking a little longer than you expect, just visit all the pages on your site and then the cache will be developed for those pages. Under analytics, it shows you things that have happened. Optimization started, failed, tag created events, purge and validate events. This gives you data of what's going on on your site. On the resource usage tab, it shows you how much CDN you're using, how many page views you're getting. And if you recall, the free version goes up to 5,000 page views in a month. If you go beyond that, that's okay. The people who come over the 5,000 for the month, they will just not see the speed optimized version of the page. The page will still work just fine. It'll just be a little bit slower. And if you upgrade to a paid plan, Obviously, you have more bandwidth and more page views allowed per month. And then everybody sees fast pages. On the connector tab, we see connection history. In this case, we've enabled WooCommerce. That must have been on the current website that we're working on. And it's just a log of what the connections are. Under integrations, we have these integrations that you can work with, four security plugins, 35 plugins, 27 theme builders, auto compatible with Elementor. That's nice. Two platforms. 38 hosts, seven others. And you notice most of them are auto compatible, meaning you install the plugin, it just works out of the box. For ones like Ezoic and Cloudflare's APO, you have to turn those on. If you're using those, those platforms, click on learn more and you'll be shown how to do that. Let's go back to Cache Insights and see if our mobile page is now optimized. We've got a four here now, so that's good. Mobile version complete. Okay, so now I'm happy to copy that link and try our PageSpeed Insights again. And hopefully it's a whole lot faster in terms of the mobile version. That brought us up to 90 on mobile. That's pretty legit. Let's compare the original speed test to this one side by side. So we started off with a 47 on mobile and after installing Nitro Pack and not doing a whole lot with the settings, we just said to ludicrous mode, which is the fastest mode, the most extreme settings, which might break your site. If it does, you got to go down to a lower level. So you might not see the same performance improvements in that case. In our case, it went to 90 for mobile, which is an increase of 43 mark benchmarks, benchmark points, whatever these points are called. For a desktop, of course, it was 94 before, 91 now. It's probably just testing variance because the stats are the same. 0 0.8 and 0 0.8, 0 0.9 and 0 0.9, 0 and 0, and 2.1 in the red, and 3 in the green. I don't know how that works. On mobile, which is the one we're focusing on, 47 to 90. It's a huge improvement. If you want to check out Nitro Pack, of course, there's the free account that you saw earlier. Just click the link in the description down below. It'll take you to the Nitro Pack homepage. Then just click on pricing, you know, come to this page. Hopefully you'll still have Black Friday prices to take advantage of. 
if you click the link down below, it is an affiliate link. So if you end up buying now or you create a free account now and then buy in the future, I will get a credit for that. It does not make it more expensive for you, but it helps me keep making these videos for free. So I really appreciate the support. And if you scroll down past the pricing table, we see the free plan down here. So if you wanna just try it out on your site and see how it works, get the free plan. The free plan is actually what we use in this video. There's some features missing like adaptive image sizing, font subsetting, but the, the really big limit is for the free plan, you only get 5,000 page views. Whereas the next plan up gets 50,000, then 200,000, then a million page views a month. If you don't have a high traffic website, the free plan might be perfect forever. So make sure you check that out because free is a pretty good price. And hopefully by following the steps in this video, your site's gonna be blazing fast as well. But that's only half the battle or even less than half. You wanna make sure that your websites are also secure. So if you really, really, really want your websites to be secure and safe, make sure you check out this video right here because it'll help you do that. There's no point in speeding up your site if it's gonna get hacked. So check out that video, make sure your sites are safe.